What's going on, Oakland University? Giovanni Mosheri from WXOU Sports. It is literally 3.30 a.m. We just got back from the bus from Indianapolis where we got to watch and witness with our own eyes the Golden Grizzlies punching their ticket to the NCAA tournament by beating Milwaukee by a score I can't remember, but it was close. Dude, the game was close the entire time. Milwaukee and the rest of the Horizon League has been so good this entire season. Everything has been earned. Everything has been difficult to earn. And that made it all the sweeter when the Golden Grizzlies was had the confetti coming down, when they had the trophy in their hand, and they got the ticket punched. It was so much fun to be there. Thank you to Grizz Gang. Thank you to the OSI and everybody involved in getting a group of us fans a bus over to Indianapolis to the Farmers Coliseum where it was just a zoo in there. We had so many Golden Grizzlies fans go there other than the, the bus of students that we were a part of. The band was there, the cheer team, or excuse me, the dance team was there. And it was just a madhouse in there. Milwaukee is a freaking awesome team. And, but so was Cleveland State, so was Purdue Fort Wayne, so was everybody in that tournament. It, it could have been anybody. But destiny made it the Golden Grizzlies. The story of Trey Townsend, him getting tournament MVP and league MVP and all, the, all these accolades that just mount up to such a beautiful story about when he was younger and came to the camps of Campy when he was eight years old and always being a part of the program and wanting to be a Golden Grizzly. Him and Blake Lamont's story, Jack Golke making a name for himself. The national, it's just everything is just such a beautiful story. We'll unravel more of it on the Joe Mo show, but I'm freaking tired.